Okay, Ben, it all started in October when allegations of hazing had the school president canceling the football season. Popular coach was fired. Police and prosecutors investigated. Their conclusions were scathing that the school wasn't forthcoming and parents have gone from wringing their hands to mobilizing. Mara McDonald is live at De La Salle tonight and Mara, now they're calling for a regime change here. Kimberly, and I think it's important to point out that this isn't some small, malcontented group of parents. There were easily more than 100 of them out here tonight, and they are organized, and they are appealing to a higher power for a fix here. We need change at our school. We need it now, and we're here to help. More than 100 Warren D. LaSalle parents met off-site tonight. They are disgusted with how the school has handled everything that has happened since claims of hazing in the football locker room were made in October. I believe a lot of people that are in the school are a little fearful of some retribution if they speak up. These parents think De La Salle's administration vastly overstated the alleged hazing, won't admit they were wrong, and have torched the school's reputation in the process with no plan to fix it. A split board of trustees vote means school president John Knight stays for now, but these parents are launching a campaign to appeal to the Christian brothers, both in the states and in Rome, for their intervention and his removal. The school is, is going to survive because we've put this committee together and we're not going to let it fail. And that's going to be a big decision for the Christian brothers. Some of the bigger issues these parents are upset about, they feel that the reputational damage is so severe here that it's going to impact enrollment and fundraising. We're live in Warren tonight. Mara McDonald, Back to you. Well, Amara, two new victims have come forward since the initial police investigation. So where does the case stand now? Well, that's right. You know, one of the initial problems with what happened here is that police say that victims were alleged victims were uncooperative. The school was uncooperative and they had no way to charge anything. Well, after the prosecutors and police said that, then all of a sudden you have two new people coming forward saying they were victims of hazing. What we understand is that those interviews are being done mm. and the prosecutor is reviewing. Yeah. Back to you. Okay, Mark.